what's up, Internet? I'm Christiane Cordero, and this is the 734 from WCCO. We know most of you are on your way to work, about to head out the door this Friday morning, so let's get you started with today's weather. Good news, the sun is out again. Uh, it's going to become breezy throughout the day today. Later this afternoon, maybe for your evening commute, maybe for your happy hour, you're going to see some 10 to 15 mile per hour winds, but otherwise 50s, sunny, nothing to complain about in the weather department, I don't think. Uh, but you might have a word or two to say about the morning reporter who chose this talker this morning. Walmart kicked off its holiday shopping season overnight, launching doorbuster deals on things like televisions, air fryers, the essentials. It's the name of the game these days. You're still spending a lot of money. Retailers are still trying to stand out. And between and the time between Thanksgiving and Christmas is cut by six days this year. So here we are. $100 off of a 55-inch TV, 30 bucks off of a $65 air fryer. Those are some of the deals that you can see on Walmart's website right now. Uh, what do you think? Is nothing sacred, including Halloween and Thanksgiving? Have we just ignored all of that? Are you looking for a good deal and therefore are all about this? Those watching on Facebook, leave a comment right here, and we'll get through a few of those in a moment. In the news this morning, we start in California where strong winds are making it tough to battle several wildfires. Check out this video that we got this morning. It is incredible stuff from CVS of a house engulfed in flames in the tick fire that is in the northern part of Los Angeles County. Firefighters have been battling flames and those strong Santa Ana winds all night long trying to save as many homes as they can. This does not appear to be one of them. Uh, it's at least one of six homes that have been burned to a loss. And the, fire, the fear is that the entire neighborhood is in trouble. Evacuations have been going on all night. As someone who grew up in this area, in this suburb of Santa Clarita, um, I can say we sure appreciate the firefighters and all of their hard work. Meanwhile, other parts of the country look a whole lot like this. Any guesses of where this is? Bet you didn't think Texas. A rare October snowstorm, blanket streets in Amarillo, and perp. And uh, yep, that's a whole lot of white that you see there. But here in Minnesota, we're actually seeing a whole lot of purple, aren't we? Minnesota Vikings, if we can get out of the snow shot and head to <laughs> football season, are 6-2 and two after beating Washington at U.S. Bank Stadium. This morning, though, a battle off the field continues for activists. Hundreds of people gathered outside the stadium last night to protest the Redskins' name. This is the Not Your Mascot rally. Minnesota Native American tribes say the name is racist and offensive. It's very harmful to our people because there's not a lot of representation of us in the media as it is. And then this is like our representation? Like, that's not okay. Sometimes people think about it just being like the color of the skin or a caricature of Native people. But really, the term red skin uh, means the, the scalp or the pelt of a, a Native person that was sold in for cash bounty. Minnesota's Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan, a Native American woman herself, says that the mascot name is painful. It's a painful reminder of her tribe's history. Washington's team's owner has said in interviews over the years that he will never change the Redskins' name. And uh, so that conversation will surely continue. A group of duck hunters says a recent trip could have been their last, if not for the decision to wear life jackets. This is what Alex Stark's 16-foot boat looked like after it took on water a few weeks ago on Long Lake near Brainerd. Can't, you can barely see it right there, right? The group of four was trying to make it back from their hunting blind, but the wind kicked up some big waves. Right away when the water started coming over the back, you kind of have a little panic moment and everybody already had their life jackets on. So we, uh, I grabbed a bag of decoys and flew, threw them out in front of my buddies and I grabbed the other bag and started swimming. Alex says without the life jackets, they wouldn't have been able to make it to shore. Ambulances brought them to the hospital for, uh, to be treated for hypothermia. Thankfully, they're all okay and apparently in good spirits, you can see there. There are new developments this morning regarding the investigation of the origins of the 2016 Russia probe. CBS News has learned that the Justice Department has shifted its review of the probe to criminal investigation. This is a political win for President Trump, who for two years attacked the Russia investigation as a hoax. This move is likely to raise concerns that the president and his allies may be using the powers of the government to go after their opponents. A funeral will be held in Baltimore today for Congressman Elijah Cummings. He died last week at the age of 68. Former Presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama will eulogize the Maryland Democrat. Uh, mourners gathered on Capitol Hill yesterday to pay respects to Cummings. He's the first American African lawmaker to lie in state at the U.S. Capitol. Are your children getting enough sleep? Are you getting enough sleep? Well, researchers 
that uh, they show that half of the kids in the U.S. are in fact not. Researchers uh, surveyed parents of nearly 50,000 U.S. children ages 6 to 17. Less than half are getting the recommended amounts of sleep weeknights. That is a minimum of nine hours for kids. Right now, the U.S. is sitting on a huge stockpile of bacon. Bloomberg reports more than 40 million pounds of pork bellies were stored in warehouses at the end of last month. That's the biggest stock in 48 years. Experts say hog producers started building up their herds because of problems with China, where swine fever is wiping out millions of pigs. Listen up. If you drive a Subaru, there's a recall involving cross tracks and Imprezas relating to the engine mostly in 2017 through 2019 models. There are no reported crashes due to these. Subaru issued the recalls out of an abundance of caution and say that they will notify owners. Speaking of caution, sorry, not sorry if these creep you out, a Rochester museum wants your vote for the creepiest doll. Curator says, yeah, there we go. They were not intended to be frightening when they were made, but after years of play, they've turned out to be a little bit scary. Understatement of the day, there's one that made with that, that one was made with real human hair. Uh, the paint has chipped off of the face of one of them, so it looks a little bit like a mummy that I'm assuming is the one that we're talking about right there. Another has movable eyelids that when uh, open when you lift the doll, the winner and runner up will be displayed for Halloween. All right, let's get back to today's talker. Let's bring in WCCO's digital guy, Cole. Cole, uh, yeah. tis it the season or tis it not the season? Uh, we're split in the comments. Oh, section. good. That's uh, great. We've got Peg saying, I'm always looking for a good deal. I don't care what they label it. We have Don saying, it's before Halloween. It's too early. Mm -hmm. We have Cindy saying, at least please wait until the week leading up to Thanksgiving Day. And we have Becca saying, good morning. I've been buying clearance toys since the summer. And uh, if it's a good enough deal, the, the time of year does not matter. It's an interesting point. You can call it whatever you want. Yeah. They're having a sale. It happens to coincide with the time of the year where you're maybe starting to think about buying things for other people. Exactly. A deal's a deal. A deal's a deal. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Cole. Appreciate it. Happy Friday. That's it for now. This is the 734 from WCCO, and most of the Twin Cities are on the go, so why not make us your place for mobile news? We'll be back here on Monday at 734. And until then, enjoy the internet and your weekend.